Hello, my name is Jacob Harris, and today my presentation is going to be about Toys R Us. Toys R Us is an American toy, clothing, and baby product retailer owned by Trues Inc. and various others. The company was founded in 1957, and its first store was built in April 1948. In my presentation, I will first discuss the strengths of Toys R Us. Second, I will talk about the weaknesses of Toys R Us. Third, I will discuss some of their opportunities. Fourth, I will discuss their threats. And then I will conclude. So to start off the presentation, I'm going to talk about the strengths of Toys R Us. So some of their strengths are uh, they're the first ever big box store in 1957. Um, and with that big box store, they took a supermarket style approach to selling, um, making them stand out from their competition. Um, that supermarket style of, of selling is really big stores, very simple design. Um, lots of products, um, things of that nature that really help them stand out from their competition. Um, a, a key factor to that strength is very, very big stores compared to just the mom and pop stores that were their main competition and the smaller stores that weren't as big and didn't have as much capital as them. Um, some of their other strengths were they had thousands of toys compared to the mom and pop stores who were only able to have a limited number of them, um, increasing consumers and um, customers go to their store um, and inside their stores they as I said earlier they had a simple design um, their floors were normally just either concrete or tile floors uh, very simple such as like in a supermarket um, and they did not use display cases in their whenever they were showing off their toys and whatnot they had just rows of different toys um, down aisles um, and in sections, but they didn't use display cases, um, which made it very easy for the customers and consumers to see what the products were uh, without having to go through the distractions of a whole display case. They could see all of the different components and different toys that they were able to offer. Um, another big strength of them was their branding um, and their advertisements. They, they used their branding and advertisement very well. Um, They're popular on TV, um, and they employed a they had a mascot that was called Jeffrey the Giraffe, which helped resonate in kids the comfortability of Toys R Us and also helped it seem like it was a very fun store to go to. Um, at their peak, um, their strength was they had 18,000 different toys. Um, they had just about 1,450 locations, and they controlled 25% of the world's toy market. Um, distribution was also a strength um, for Toys R Us because they had – they had different um, stores in about every state, so um, distribution was made easy because they were constantly um, in-state and they were able to go to their stores um, quickly. Uh, moving into the next part is the weaknesses of Toys R Us. Um, one of their big, biggest weaknesses was they were using old data to make new plans. Um, they used very old data to try and formulate consumer strategies, pricing strategies, um, financing and things of that nature and because of that um, is very detrimental in their downfall um, and one of their biggest weaknesses. Um, another weakness is, was um, the buildup of inventory um, which caused them to have a surplus of inventory having to spend money to get rid of that inventory which no one was buying uh, which they did not budget for um, which made them lose money. Um, Another thing was because they had so many toys, as soon as they started taking toys off of the shelves, they noticed that their uh, prices decreased, that their profit decreased um, as a result of that because they didn't have as many toys. Um, lack of proper financing plans caused them to not have enough cash and use unnecessary and unplanned borrowing. Um, when you don't budget for borrowing or um, not having enough cash, that will eventually kill your company, causing you to spend money you don't have um, when it can be used and allocated in better ways. Um, the big box store model was actually um, one of their weaknesses as well. I know it was listed as a strength, but it was a weakness as well because they were the first ones to do that. And so all these other toy companies started copying them and making their stores big box companies as well. Um, some of their opportunities for Toys R Us are they're supposed to be opening an online stores um, in 2022 in the United Kingdom. Um, more of their opportunities involve the internet by using the internet to um, market toys by using social media such as Instagram, Twitter, 
Facebook to show off those products, engage with customers and consumers, and also just have that presence that um, they are back and they are not um, a business that is not around anymore. Um, increased globalization is another big opportunity for Toys R Us um, with markets opening up worldwide. Um, it's very important for Toys R Us to get their foot in the door of those new markets to expand their current market um, and open up toy stores for different nations and different people all around the world. Um, reduce trade barriers on imported goods as well. Um, different alloys and stuff made it to ne needed to make the toys um, have gotten cheaper over time. And so importing goods is another um, opportunity that they have. Um, their threats, um, some of their biggest threats, or their biggest threat actually, was that they filed for bankruptcy in 2008, um, closing all their stores and ending all of their um, ending all of their locations. Um, and as a result of that, another threat would be people not trusting the company anymore because they filed for for bankruptcy. Um, it makes you think as a consumer that they don't know how to manage their money well um, and that they are not a good um, business model to follow. Um, some more threats would be the change in toy taste among consumers. Um, some toys that were cool maybe two months ago um, won't be cool in a month or so. And so that's a big threat. By, uh, if you buy too many of this certain product um, in a couple months or whatnot, that product will not be popular anymore and you'll just be stuck with a big amount of inventory. Um, and so in conclusion, based on everything presented in the in the um, in the presentation, I've talked about the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of Toys R Us. And because of those, um, I do not believe that Toys R Us will be as popular as they once were. Um, because they're planning to come back in 2022 with their online stores, I really think that the consumer still has a bad taste in their mouth that Toy Story let that Toys R Us left them. Um, making them a company that they can't trust and one that may not be around for forever. Um, thank you very much.